Congratulations with that. That was a really gutsy display from start to finish and uh, just the sort of performance you wanted from this team. Yeah, look, it was... Um, the new Cork obviously have been the form team so far in the league, really, well, arguably be one of them along with Limerick, but I um, knew it was going to be a tough test for us. And really happy with the attitude from right from the very right from the very start. I thought we were hunting in packs, we were chasing hard. Leonard Hurling was really good, we played with a lot of confidence. And um, look, the second half, sending off had a big bearing on it too. But um, in terms of our own attitude and the way we went about it, very happy. And again today, you showed that. Whenever there's an opportunity, you really have to go for the goal if there's an opportunity. Take on. You were breaking tackles there today, maybe more than I've ever seen. So the, 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 the instructions are clearly go for goal if you get a chance. Yeah, well, look, without the goals, we're, it was going to be very tight at the end, even you know, even though we had the, the extra players. So, you know, it was really important and we took the goals. Took the go- had a couple of half chances as well. But took the goals as well. Um, look, at the same time, we've plenty to improve on as well, plenty to work on. That's OK. We're, we're kind of... Whether we won or lost today, it's it's still about getting you know improving the next three to four weeks now and get ready for a championship. But like we're happy with the win and great to get a you know great to be in a final now. Getting Richie Hogan game time and before mm. he actually came out in the field, you mightn't have seen it. One TJ Reid, Adrian Mullen, and Paddy Mullen were poking around for sport under the sand. Mad mad for action. Yeah, look, they've they've been working really hard um, away from it if you like and. Um, they're they're getting closer to getting closer to be ready for uh, for action now. Um, so we'll see how they are in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, look, we want a competitive squad. I think um, a lot of lads today put their hands up again, um, and that's what we asked them. You know, they said you know grab the jersey when you have it, and you know we're seeing that competition now coming through with the lads coming back, and that's exactly where we want to be. Now Limerick up again the next day. They're a formidable. You heard saw them last mm-hmm. night. Probably they're going to offer a different kind of physical test to the team. Exactly what they want this time of the year. Ah, yeah. Look for sure. Look at they were. You know they're a phenomenal team. There's no there's no question about it. And I think it's a great again it's a great opportunity for our squad, our panel. A lot of them are young players, test themselves against a super team like that and. You know, we can only learn from that and look, it's something to look forward to now. Billy's situation, Derek, now over the next while, he's been excellent for you the last few yeah. weeks. But in terms of availability, how is that going to work out over the next few weeks for you? In what way? In, 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 in Billy's situation. Is it Billy with the 20s as well? He is, yeah, he is. I guess, look, at he's, uh, we'll see how the fixtures go, we'll, we all will discuss that. But, um, you know, he's obviously a part of the. The, the senior the senior setup as uh, Timmy and Garod as well, and you know they'll be playing important roles. Obviously, we'll have to um, you know balance it out and see what way the, the fixtures go in terms of the under twenty championship as well. But um, yeah, we'll have to look at that. He's been flawless on the last one. You must be delighted with him. Yeah, no, for sure. Look at and and today was another big test for him. And for for a lot of those players, like Garod had a you know a really positive impact when he came on uh, Timmy as well look they're all working hard like I said today like I mean we've had a they've had a decent few outings but the, the tests are going to get bigger and harder you know we know that um, so they'll but all they can do you know in terms of their work rate their attitude they're doing that and we'll see how it goes a few guys there today who are you know haven't seen a lot of game time over the last while and, and performed very impressively you must be delighted with that considering they haven't seen much of the league yeah, look, I, I mean, it's it, to be honest, up till now, it's been week on week in terms of, you know, seeing who you have available, we, you know, we're training hard, matches week on week, you get, you're get you bound to get a few injuries and that, so um, some of them we haven't had until now, really, um, so hopefully we have more players coming back the next couple of weeks rather than going out the other way, and, you know, it'll make decisions uh, difficult for us in terms of picking a 15 but that's a, a welcome problem Just on Richie I presume he's had to work particularly hard to get back in the pitch just with the problems he's had over the last while Yeah no, Richie's worked really hard and you know a, he was close to making a you know close to being back probably a few weeks ago and a couple of things went against him but you know he's back today sure he's about uh, there's no question but he, you know look super attitude from Richie all year and uh, it's great to see him back out there Just on playing Limerick as well do you relish those type of tests as well like it's you've tr- been str- thrown straight into the fire should we say Absolutely that's what we want uh, I mean there's no point in being here otherwise uh, we have we're playing against like I said a phenomenal team and we'll have a you know we'll have a crack at them and either way we'll get ready for a championship we're going to learn a huge amount from it lads are going to get exposed to you know what you know teams like Limerick how they play how they set up and um, that can only be good for us in terms of our development as a team so I'm no, I'm looking forward to that Richie Reid's concussion Derek is it serious is he okay? 
No, thankfully, look, I mean, it was serious enough to, to keep him out until now, and um, we thought he was feeling a bit better, but again, just a few symptoms during the week, so we weren't taking any chances with him, and we just have to keep an eye on him, but look, at the minute, he's feeling a little bit better than he was during the week, so hopefully he'll be back in the reckoning as well, yeah. Nothing too serious, um, whether two weeks' time is, might be a little bit tight, I'm not sure yet, we'll have to assess him, but other than that, we're only looking at two or three weeks. Eric, sorry, the fitness levels you spoke about the last few weeks have been excellent, but now that the clocks have changed, the hurling is obviously, you can see today, the hurling has got, you must be happy with the hurling piece at, at this stage. Yeah, I look at, I mean, like last week, I think it was really hard conditions for any team, and, I, you know, we made plenty of mistakes, but I, that's going to happen. Um, we're only back really hurling. We're getting, it's, it, you can see the players are getting a lot sharper and um, we have to have a go. And to have a go, you're going to make mistakes. To, you know, the best teams in the country make mistakes. And these lads are, um, I'm hoping we can, we can still improve on that. And, um, but that's all I can ask for in terms of their attitude. And their, I don't want them to be afraid of making mistakes, if that makes sense. So we're just going at it. That's. It's noticeable the spine of the team. Big move in Huey Lawler today. He's distributing a centre back. Tommy Welsh at full. Mm. Must be happy with that contribution of the six backs, particularly. I am. Yeah. Look, at, I, I, I think um, like Huey has missed a good bit of hurling, so we just it was an opportunity to look at him centre back as well and Tommy full back because look at the way the game has gone as well. You, you, you could find yourself anywhere when you're playing in the backs, and I think all six are really comfortable in most positions now. And uh, look, you did well today, and we'll see. You know, we'll see where that um, that takes us coming into championship and how the the team shapes up. Very good. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt.